All right, hi everyone, it's Kevin Doherty here from Dream Practice Coaching. Just wanted to shoot a quick video if you're a chiropractor and you're really trying to figure out how to get your website set up the right way to work effectively for your practice and attract new patients and educate patients effectively. And I wanted to show you a couple different examples of what I think works quite well and what doesn't work as well in my opinion. Uh, so you can really kind of get a clear sense on how to set up your website design um, so the patient and the prospective patient has a very uh, clean and clear picture of what you can do for them and how you can help them. So I'm just picking a, a random site here that I found on Google uh, and I'm not trying to pick on any particular practice or anything like that. I just wanted to do this for educational purposes. Uh, but if you look at this site, that's in front of you right now. This site actually ranks very well on Google uh, and it gets quite a bit of traffic to it, but I think that the overall format of the site needs some help. Uh, if you look at the home page here, which is the most important page on the entire site, <clears throat> it's kind of all over the place and you know you, you almost immediately get this deer in the headlights feeling when you hit a page like this. Like, what do I do? What do I click on first? There are so many links and so many options that I think it really overwhelms people and it makes them have to expend too much energy to figure out what to do next. So really, you have a couple primary jobs on this homepage. You want to answer the questions, can, I, can you help me? If the patient is asking this question, they're coming to your site, can you help me uh, with my condition? Can you, you know, do you have a solution that I'm looking for? Uh, and the second question is, can I trust you to actually be the one that helps me? Are you personally the, the, um, the practitioner that I should see? So you want to make sure that the copy on the homepage and the way that it's structured completely identifies those questions and answers them very, very directly. And we can see here on this page, it's just kind of all over the place and it doesn't really cut to the chase. The second thing you want to make sure that you're doing uh, is guiding that prospective patient to a specific action step that they can take. We call it a call to action. So we can see here in red that it says call us now for a consultation, but it's kind of mixed into all this other text and this map and all these other links. Um, and I like to have that call to action at the bottom of the home page. Um, after you've kind of empathized with that patient, you have provided some solutions or inspired them that you do have solutions, then it makes sense to provide that call to action. Uh, so to me, this page is just a little disorganized uh, and there are too, there's too much going on. Now, if we compare that really quick to this site, uh, you can immediately see how much cleaner it is. And we have a video, we have an opt-in form, and this is another thing that I think this other site is lacking, is there's no lead generation. Um, there's a newsletter sign up in the bottom left, but nobody's really going to sign up to that. Um, whereas the ebook offer in, in, you know, in the attempt to collect someone's name and email address is right here in the upper right part of the homepage, which is exactly where it needs to be. And there's a picture of a very nice looking ebook that they can get. Um, in exchange for their name and email address, the, the, the web visitor. Uh, and then if we scroll down, we can see it has a nice benefit-oriented headline, relief, increased energy, and maximum well-being. And it asks a few qualifying questions. And then we have the call to action right here. Um, and that's really it. There's not a lot else to click on. I mean, you have your standard links in the navigation bar, uh, but you don't want to clutter your homepage with too much stuff for a prospective patient to click through. So I think this is a very nice, clean look, uh, and this is actually a site that we just took live for a client. Uh, so if you wanna learn more about our uh, chiropractic web design services, just go to dreampracticewebsites.com and we can help you get a site set up similar to this one in terms of the clean cleanliness, the organization, and the overall professionalism that is conveyed along with the uniqueness of the site. So uh, that's what I wanted to show you in this video. I hope it was helpful. And if you're a chiropractor watching this, I hope it uh, helps you take your practice to the next level. Thanks so much.